Well, it's been a week since a man was shot and killed in St. John's, but friends of Omar Mohammed say they're still trying to piece together what happened. Police watchdog CERT is investigating the officer involved shooting. Little has been disclosed, including the man's identity. As here in Niles, Ariana Kelland reports, the silence from officials has left many in the community concerned. Akwe Omad is still struggling to process what happened to his friend Omar Mohammed. He's unsure what happened with police and why. All he knows is that his friend is dead. Omar is a very quiet guy. Like he's very kind. He's very quiet and kindest man. Like he's have a heart. Like he believes in other human beings. You know, he believes in people, man. Like. Omat saw his friend three days before he died, says he was dressed in a suit and seemed happy, but desperate for a good place to live. He had been, Omat said, for months. His, his life is very sad. For his, he, he don't have no home to stay. Like he's, he's telling me he's, he got tired for that. He go looking for a place all the time. He need like a big kind of help and nobody like help him. Omad understands the feeling. He's homeless too and searching for a stable place to live. He's been living with a friend now for months. Mohammed, he says, spoke little English, which led to a lot of miscommunication, as well as a deep mistrust and fear of police stemming from his life in Sudan. That's the problem he told me. Like, uh, I'm not talking with cops here and I don't want to talk to his cops. I don't need help from cops, no. When he died, Mohammed was wanted by police for breaching court orders, has a criminal record for sexual assault and assaulting a police officer. But Omot didn't know his friend to be violent, just sick and in need of mental health support. They should be know this man is very sick in his head, like, and they should they leave him alone, you know, like if you have a not good day, or something like that, they should, they can, they let him go, you know. For now, it's all speculation. Calls for more information have gone unanswered. And Black Lives Matter NL and the Anti-Racism Coalition says that's part of the problem. Meanwhile, Omot is left to piece together his friend's last days and the systems he says failed him. Arianna Kelland, CBC News, St. John's.